What is going on, everyone? And welcome back to another video. Before we begin, you guys have been killing it with the subscriptions. And since I'm filming this video in advance, I don't know when I'm going to post it. So I don't know whether I reached my 1000 subs goal or not. So if I did, woohoo! Congrats to the future me. If not, Make sure to lock in your sub quickly for the first 1,000 to sub to this channel. I really appreciate you all and thank you all so much for your support. Today, I wanted to talk about the Ignite servers. For those who have no idea what I'm talking about, we have been introduced to a new server being released that is hailed to be new and returning player friendly. Now, is it true? I have no idea. But I also heard that it could be beneficial to some veterans, but not more to comment on that yet. Now, you are probably wondering, didn't we have jumpstart servers that had the same idea and that went down the drain really fast? You would be correct. I've had some people say that it was a success, which it definitely was not. Yes, it brought new players in, and even some returning players, but nothing to the magnitude that we were all hoping for. In fact, if we compare the number of players that played around Jumpstart server time, that it was around 50 to 70,000 players. Now, it's 20 to 30,000 players, so we are actually at a deficit. And there's a good reason why people didn't stick around with Jumpstart and people even quit. Jumpstart was advertised as, on their Lost Ark website, quote, Players on Jumpstart servers will receive materials that provide faster vertical and horizontal progression, comma, including honing materials, hard packs, and more, exclamation mark. This is a direct quote from the Lost Ark website. This sounds good on paper, but when it actually came to it, the same issues came up from the regular servers and it turned out that everything that they said was too good to be true. Same with in life. To put an analogy to what they did, they basically promised an apple to a horse showing at first a beautiful, sweet, juicy apple only to give later on a rotten, half-eaten one. Like, oh, look! It's still an apple, but not really. So this is because technically they did give materials that do provide faster vertical and horizontal progression, but they were so insignificant that it didn't matter in the long run. You still had to grind hard for horizontal progression. You still needed to grind for vertical progression. So AGS basically went stingy for the new and returning players. This is not how you should treat your players. Is it that unreasonable to assume that with this jumpstart event advertised, people didn't need to worry about the trivial things and can actually tackle on the real raid content? Once people found out everything from jumpstart didn't actually jumpstart your character, many people left. Not only those players, but the people who were already playing the game also left. We have been on a steady decline, and Jumpstart was the perfect chance to revive the game. But no, you just had to be stingy with the server. Now, unlike Jumpstart, we didn't get too much information on Ignite servers. So I don't know if they're going to be releasing it soon, or they think that it's cool to withhold information for a surprise effect. Newsflash guys. We'd much rather just have the information out there so word can spread about all the wonderful things that will happen in the Ignite servers. Intent me. I would definitely advertise Ignite servers for you guys. I just need to know what's going to happen first. So since we are running at this blind, I thought maybe we could make some predictions and see if they turn out true. They should have learned a lot from Jumpstart, so I really hope they take the mistakes they learn 
to prevent another disaster from happening. All right. So first things first, cards. This is the most gatekeeping aspect that is also time gated. We've talked about this plenty in my cards video. This is not a cool design and an obvious money grabbing scheme. It's time to be more lenient with cards. I want them to either be generous with legendary card drop rates or give something like LOS 18 or 24 for free. Let's really try to ignite this server. Second thing, automatic level 60 combat level. It was cute in the beginning to actually level your character. Hee <laughs> hee, look at me running around, leveling my character. This is like Maple Story and everything. But this is long gone now. Even in things like Maple Story, they give events that push your character quite easily to level 200 and beyond. That used to be unheard of. Games are supposed to develop and change. It's time to move on from some of the outdated stuff and just give it for free. People want to be able to experience their classes. Some classes are unable to do that without certain skill points, runes, and specializations. Speaking of runes, third thing they need to do is give runes, at least the ones that are important. Jumpstart did a terrible job here, giving green runes and calling it a day, what a joke. Some classes need those purple wealth runes. Just give it. If you want to be stingy with some of the legendary runes like bleed or whatever, then sure, whatever. Let them work for that, but don't gatekeep their character before they even had the chance to play. Fourth thing, no more of that crappy relic accessory that gives 270 or whatever of your stat. Nah. 300 give 300 and let people freely change that spec they want to play empress arcana to try it out they can swap to specialization accessories they realize oops empress is not what they want they want emperor then they can change everything to swiftness this is how players can have more fun experimenting with builds without it being so punishing Following up on experimentation of builds, our number six, gems. These are one of the biggest issues due to reroll costs. Now you can reroll event gems, but they only go up to eight at the current time. Let's bump those up to nine now. Nines are much cheaper than before, so surely it won't be that painful to give, you know, one to three level nine gems, right? Surely, some characters need that level 9 damage gem or cooldown gem to actually play their class as intended. So this should definitely be given. I can already think of a few, like Empress Arcana needs that level 9 cooldown gem. So does something like Striker needs a level 9 cooldown gem on Blast Formation. These are things that just are given, otherwise you cannot play the class. It's this simple, Smilegate and Lost Ark. Uh, AGS, whatever. We need at least level 9 gems on some of our stuff. Number 6. Or is this number 6? Yeah, number 6. Tripods. They actually did a relatively decent job with this for Jumpstart. But we need more. Especially with this new experimentation of builds that I propose. We need to double or triple to cover the other class specs. Number seven, we need that honing boost. This one, I'm pretty confident in something AGS and uh, Milegate are planning on doing for the Ignite servers. We need a super juiced event where the new and returning players get a ton of mats to hone for cheap. This is the true jumpstart that people are looking for. Jumpstart should have had something like this but it was way too difficult to even hit 1580. We need better juice at least to 1600. That way they can access elixirs and I hope they give elixirs as well. We're not even gonna talk about those kinds of stuff. 
But yes, they should be giving the buyers, the elixirs, the blah, 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 blahs. Definitely. Anyway, those were my seven things that I wish for the Ignite servers. Will it become a reality? I think some will, but I'd be extremely surprised if they all do. I am really, really hoping that AGS wakes up and realizes that there is more money to be made. You can do this, guys. Maybe your profits might be lower in the beginning with all the free stuff that you give out. But with loyal customers, you are bound to get a few dolphins and whales that help keep the servers alive. I believe in you all to make the right decision. Feel free to take my advice free of charge. You are welcome. But I also don't mind sponsors, so hit me up, please. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed. And since I'm running out of things to say, I will end this video here. And for my pineapple gang, I don't know if we hit the 1,000 subs by now, but I actually appreciate you all for supporting me. You all are the GOAT. So make sure you know that. Type, I am a GOAT in the comment sections. You all deserve it. All right, goodbye, everybody, and take care.